to my channel. Today's video is one that I am super excited to be filming. I have been looking forward to filming this for quite a while and now that I am almost in the third trimester, I am 26 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So I've got another two weeks before I'll be in the third trimester. I'm six months pregnant and it felt like the perfect time to film my nursery tour. This is something that I've been excited to film since I found out I was pregnant actually. We have put a lot of time into decorating the nursery and just getting it just right for our little princess to arrive in June or July. So we cannot wait. And now that I have everything pretty much finished up, we have deep cleaned the house. We've deep cleaned the nursery. I've pretty much finished decorating the nursery. The only things I'll have to add are just whatever I receive at my baby shower. Um, but for the most part, the nursery is done and I can share with you what we have, where we got most of these things, and why I decided to go with the theme that I did for this room. As you can see, I have the elephant, giraffe, and lion heads on the wall behind me. The theme of our nursery is safari. So as you probably know, if you're familiar with my channel, my husband Corey and I both love Disney. So everyone expected us to have a Disney themed nursery. And in a way we do and in a way we don't. My husband loves Animal Kingdom. It is his favorite park aesthetic wise at Disney World. And so I wanted to incorporate his love for Animal Kingdom and my love for animals in general into this nursery as well as my love for neutral colors. So with that being said, we have the theme of the safari based off of the Animal Kingdom Kilimanjaro Safari that you can ride at the park. And then we have the neutral colors because I love neutral. I started decorating the nursery before we knew if we were having a boy or a girl. I wanted it to be very gender neutral. Once we found out we were having a girl, of course we added a few little pops of pink here and there. But for the most part, I wanted something neutral enough that when we have another baby down the road, a lot of this stuff can be reused. So, then we added in a few little pops of Disney things. Don't worry, what is hanging on the crib and sitting in the crib, we will take out when we bring baby girl home from the hospital. So there will be nothing in there that is a choking, smothering hazard. There'll just be the sheet on the crib and baby, so don't worry about that. Also, the crib is far enough away from the wall that if these did fall, they would not harm baby, they would not fall in the crib, they would fall behind the crib, so don't you worry about that. First thing I'm going to start off with is, this video is not a sponsored video, but it's gonna seem like it was sponsored by Target because 90% of what I have here, I did buy from Target. Um, a lot of it I bought over Black, the Black Friday sale, super early pregnant, but it was definitely worth it for a money-saving hack for me. Okay, so the first thing we are going to start off talking about is this crib, and this crib is from the Delta Children's line. I absolutely love this line. It is carried at Target. I think you can get it at Bye Bye Baby and a few other stores. We did purchase the crib from Target, and it is a convertible crib, so it's multi-purpose. We can use it now while our baby girl is an infant, and then convert it into a toddler bed down the road, or could just use it for future children. I love something that if you only need it for a set amount of time, it can convert into something else so you're not being as wasteful, just having to get rid of stuff and buy stuff constantly. So I do love that. And then sitting here on the crib, we have this blanket here that says, I love you. And then it's got the mint on the back. Like I said, this won't be staying on the crib because obviously it would be a hazard to baby but right now it just looks super cute hanging over the crib. And then also sitting in the crib, we have this little figment plush stuffed animal. My husband's favorite character at Disney is Figment, which is the main um, mascot for Epcot. And so he bought this for our little girl before we knew she was a little girl on our first trip to Disney after I found out that I was pregnant. And so I've just got it sitting in the crib right now because it looks super cute. I also have a little countdown board here in the crib 
that obviously will get removed when baby arrives, but it's just the little countdown that says right now 15 weeks until baby logins. And this actually, I'm going to be changing the number because as of tomorrow, it's 14 weeks. I cannot believe it. But that is one of the things I do have sitting in the crib. Um, I did get that board actually in one of my baby boxes. So I didn't purchase that anywhere. I purchased the blanket at Target as well as most of the other things that you're gonna see in this video. Now, I am gonna actually get behind the camera here so that I can show you some of the different items like the crib sheets, the mattress pads, all of that, um, and explain it to you as I go. Okay, so here the crib sheet that I have is actually from Target, but it is the Crane Baby line. I love the Safari and neutral theme. I also have the matching mobile from, or mobile, however you want to say it, that is also from Crane Baby that I purchased online at Target, as well as the wall decor. If you love this wooden safari wall decor as much as I do, uh, you can buy this at Target, Amazon, H&M. I actually found these on sale at H&M, so I ordered them from there, and they just tie this entire room together perfectly in my opinion. I love the way that they go with the mobile or mobile, like I said, whichever way you want to say it. They are also from the Crane Baby line. I just purchased them at one of their retailers. I don't remember and if this was the Angel line or not, but I will look it up and have it linked down below along with everything else. Then I have the Winnie the Pooh blanket that I purchased in store at Target. Over here, we have the bassinet that will be moving over into our bedroom when our little girl arrives. This is the Halo bassinet. You can purchase it at most major retailers that carry things for babies. I actually purchased this from someone in my old neighborhood that had only used it once or twice and got it for a really good deal, but I do know you can purchase them at major retailers like Target, Walmart, Bye Bye Baby, different places like that, Baby List. And then we have the pink, which is one of the pops of pink pink blanket that has hearts on it I did purchase that at TJ Maxx and it just all ties in together like I said this will be moved into the master bedroom when our baby girl arrives and over here I have the humidifier I haven't set it all up yet but that is the Frida baby humidifier that I purchased for the nursery I have my little laundry basket. Yes, there is laundry in there. A sweet friend of mine purchased the cutest baby clothes and receiving blankets and bibs for our little girl. I just have to get them washed. And of course, over here, we have the dresser slash changing table. I absolutely love this and I'll explain more about this dresser because it doesn't match the crib. It matches color wise, but it is not from the same collection. I'll explain that more here in a second. We have the matching changing pad that goes with the crib sheets. Of course, we have many more crib sheets and changing pads put away in the dresser. You have to love the cute headbands that you get to purchase when you are having a baby girl. She actually has many more headbands at this point, but I'm gonna have to buy another holder in order to display them all or just keep them in the drawer. As for me personally, I don't plan on using pacifiers, but with a baby, never say never. So we do have a little container of pacifiers and the diaper caddy. I absolutely love this thing. I got it off of Amazon and it just seems like the perfect way to organize everything for changes to make it easily accessible. Over here, I have the thermometer, the Windy Gas Passer by Frida Baby, as well as a nasal aspirator. This is the entire baby like fingernail clippers and files, all that set in there as well. Of course, we have wipes and diapers and everything just to keep it nice and organized. And then I keep some in the drawers as well. Now taking us over here to the dresser area, I will explain since I've already shown you the dresser. This dresser does not go with the uh, crib that we have. It is not part of the Delta Children's collection. However, it is actually the dresser that was in my husband's room when he was growing up. Uh, his parents, when they moved, gave us the entire bedroom suit. 
We didn't need the other pieces, but we kept the dresser and the two nightstands. They were black and I refinished and painted them white. So and that white. way they would go with the nursery. And then we could use that little piece of memories and aspects from his childhood in our nursery. And I'm sure you're noticing here the sign right here with baby girl's name over the dresser. I am not one for keeping her name a secret. I think I might have said her first name actually in my last vlog here without even realizing it. Um, it has not been a secret. We've told people from the very beginning what our boy and girl names were. Uh, we had the first name set no matter what, if it was a boy or a girl, all we had to do was change the spelling. So our sweet little baby girl, her name is going to be Randy Kate. Randy is after a very important man that was in my life. While he wasn't my father, he was the closest I ever had to having a father in my life. I called him dad, he treated me like one of his own, and while he is not here with us anymore and won't be able to meet our baby girl, I know he would have loved her, and I am just so incredibly happy to be able to name our baby girl after him. And then Kate, we were struggling to come up with a middle name for a girl that would go with Randy. And I love double names, so she will be called Randy Kate. And Kate was actually supposed to be my middle name. Um, and then my mom decided on Lynn instead. So she will be Randy Kate. And I'm super excited to be sharing this. I'm super excited to meet her and just see what she looks like and her personality and to get to know her and all of the experiences that we are going to have with her. Okay, and now I'll sit here in the rocker and talk to you for a few minutes. So I am super excited, like I said, to be sharing this video and putting it together and just keeping this really for us to remember, you know, exactly what this nursery looked like at this point in time. We still have a few little things to add, nothing like major, like I want to add some bookshelves over here to make it for easy access for reading when I'm rocking her at night and reading to her, especially as she gets a little bit older. Just little things like that. I did leave a wall open by the closet that has enough space for a picture frame. I want to do a full family photo with Randy and me and my husband and his parents and his grandparents and my grandparents his brother, my sister, just her immediate family. It's not very often that you have great grandparents on both sides that are, or that we are blessed enough to still have to be able to meet your little ones. So we definitely want to be able to document that time with them as well because they are older. She might not have all the memories with them that we had growing up, but we definitely want to have plenty of photos to be able to show her. Now, this video is not a long one. There is not a ton to show in the nursery. Obviously, after my shower, I'll share with you the things that I get from there, whether it be clothes, plenty of diapers and wipes, I hope, because that is what I need the most. Little Randy already has her closet and dresser pretty full with clothes, actually, between what I purchased and my mother-in-law has purchased. Um, and you already know that if you saw my video with the baby girl's clothing haul. If you haven't checked that out, I will link it here for you because that is actually one of my favorite videos that I've done and it was so much fun to do. Now I am going to try and get a little bit of housework done because we are still deep cleaning the house. If you haven't already, head over to Instagram and follow me. It's Rebecca Lynn underscore GA. And if you haven't joined my YouTube family, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to connect with you, get to know you, and have you be a part of my family here on YouTube. Until the next video, I will catch you over on Instagram. I hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day and their week, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.